بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وبه نستعين وصلى الله على محمد واهل بيته الطاهرين respected president of hujjat elders of the community brothers and sisters salamu alaykum jamian wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh I begin by conveying my condolences to all of you on the 30th of Imam Hussein alayhi salatu was salam as well as the shahadat night majlis of janab sakina salam alayha I'm very pleased to be here in Stanmore to address you on behalf of the Wal Federation World Federation and Stanmore have a special relationship. We have offices in other parts of the world, but we are headquartered here in Stanmore. Since the time of the formation of this organization, under the leadership of the founder, Marhum Mullah Azgar Rahmatullah Aleh, World Federation has had the privilege of being part and parcel of the Stanmore community. Now you may debate whether this benefits Stanmore Jamaat or whether this benefits the World Federation. I would say it is a mutual benefit for both. Stanmore undoubtedly, since the time of Marhum Mullah, has been a beacon for the global community where the talent and every aspect of what this community has done over the many years radiates across the world as an embodiment for many communities for which we are privileged to be part and parcel of this community but at the same time this community stand more here implicitly and explicitly benefits significantly from the presence of the world federation for within this vicinity within the small bounds of the office behind you the lives of millions of people across the world are impacted and the work that is done by our staff and volunteers here benefits the entire community for you are part and parcel of the journey of sawab and perpetual sawab At this occasion I would like to thank the community here in Stanmore for the wonderful support that you provided with the Aliasgar water appeal and in particular I would like to mention and appreciate the efforts of Stanmore Jaffrey that is truly a global brand now we had so many cyclists that participated in raising of funds we had women who walked many kilometers to raise funds to change the life of hundreds of thousands of people for water brings life waj'alna min al-ma kull shay'in hayy it is water that changes the destiny of an individual by giving people life and there are millions in the world today who do not have clean water so i would really like to thank stan mujafris and the community we have alhamdulillah ta'ala with your efforts raised more than 110000 pounds in a short period of time and this appeal not only it has cross borders it is not only stanmore it is hyderabad milton keynes lester birmingham that participated in the cycling event toronto as well mombasa kenya and this time we had that star in karachi who literally cycled for not 100 kilometers but 100 miles and raised a good sum for this great cause The other important project that was launched by the World Federation during the month of Muharram was the Qadimiya appeal. When we visited Qadmain and we met the officials over there, they mentioned to us that when the Zuwar come and they recite the ziyarat and the salat in the Sahan, when you enter Bab Qibla or Bab Murad, the Sahan there, the tiles are are not of that standard. that azawar can stand and 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 is at comfort particularly in the month of summer when it is extremely hot and they say that we need support 
And at that point in time, Alhamdulillah Ta'ala, we felt that as a Koja Shia Itna Ashri community, we should collectively facilitate that the tiles are replaced entirely in that Sahan. And they wanted to use the top quality tiles from Greece, the thesis tiles that are used in Makkah and Medina, where when you pray Salat or when you stand there in the peak of the heat, you still are comfortable and can continue your ibadat. We pledged to provide them a support of $3 million. And within 12 days, Alhamdulillah Ta'ala, with the support of our community here in Stanmore and across the world, from India, from Pakistan, places which are t tend to be recipients, this time provided donations. And within 12 days, we managed to raise $1 million US dollars, which was the first phase of that project. The perpetual sawab for every tile that we have advertised that you donate, or even a portion of the tile, for every zuwar and every musalli who recites salat or ziyarat on aimma, there is perpetual reward for that individual, inshallah. Prospectively, our team that has been elected for the term 2021 and 2024, and this is our third month in office, we have an ambitious agenda for the community. And I would just like to spend two, three more minutes because it is extremely important that we are part and parcel as a global community and we need your support. And we have two key parts of the agenda that we would like to embark upon for our communities. The first one is a difficult one and that is the journey towards alleviation of poverty. We have within the Koja Shia Ishnashi community today more than 5,000 families living below the life of economic dignity, less than $300 to $500 a month. In India, we have 2,500 families. In Pakistan, we have 3,000 families. In Africa, we have almost 500 families who can barely afford the groceries of the day, struggle with other needs. It is our responsibility and the responsibility of the leadership of the World Federation to try our best to work with the local Jamaats and the regions to ensure that we provide every Koja Shia Ishnasi child with proper education and a life of dignity where health facilities are provided. And at the same time, whatever we can do to lift their life economically. We will need your support. We will be making certain critical announcements, inshallah, in the months to come. And inshallah ta'ala, we pray that collectively we can lift those families out of that poverty level so that they can live a life of dignity. Ilahi amin. Thank you. The second point, which is, if not equally important, even more important, is the survival of this community. Our survival remains on our adherence to the madhab of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad. The profound programs that the org community organizes, like this one and many others, and we have great speakers, alhamdulillah ta'ala, the madrasa, the madrasa center of excellence, many other projects, the community volunteers, you name it. These are ways and means to preserve our heritage, our culture, importantly, our faith. We face many challenges today. Parents struggling to raise their kids in today's environment, where the society is so open. In the digital environment, the world has completely changed. How do we meet the needs of our time? How do we overcome some of the challenges when it comes to sustaining and maintaining our faith? After having had extensive discussions, including the meeting we had with His Eminence, Ayatollah Al-Odama Sayyid Ali Husseini, Sistani, may Allah grant him a long life. He supported our project that we want to set up a state of art research institute that would provide an academic platform for every individual of the community, particularly the youths, to come in that economic, uh, uh, the academic environment, to have a safe environment, to discuss the undiscussable, in the presence of the best scholars of our time, in the presence of scholars who have been trained in the Hausa who can relate to the needs of our time in the West, speaking the language of the West. That is an ambitious project, but for the survival and sustainability of our faith, inshallah ta'ala, we have decided to take up this challenge. We know it is the need of our time. We have the support from Abu Marja. Inshallah ta'ala, with your support and with your du'as and with the tawfiqat of the du'as of our 12th Imam, we will try and embark upon this ambitious project. And please remember us in your du'as 
and we shall continuously remember you in our du'as. I would like to take this opportunity to thank uh, Hujat, Jamaat, and the EC for this opportunity to address this community. Thank you very much. Jazakallah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.